Hey everybody, welcome back to Nick's Mini Bike. So we did something this weekend that we don't normally do. We bought uh, a brand new mini bike. Pretty excited for it. It's going to be Caitlin's bike for the upcoming Go Power Sports 180 in November. And I'm pretty excited for this bike. So let's turn you around and show you what we got. So we went out and we picked up Katie, the new Coleman B200. I haven't seen this model yet in any of the Facebook groups or anything like that. I've only seen the one that looks like an RB200. And this one still kind of resembles an RB200, but got a couple differences. Before we get looking at the bike, let's see what came with it. So it came with a bag of goodies. Came with all the cards that were hanging on it when we got it. Just an information card, card about the certificate of origin if you want to get one information about how clean the engine burns chemical warning came with the owner's manual for the bike and an assembly manual and the gasoline engine owner's manual came with a spark plug tool small little pouch with the tools in it got a couple wrenches there 10 8 14 12 and that one doesn't say and an allen wrench now let's move on actually looking at this bike so the tubing on the frame is a little more bulky than say your ct 200u it makes you think that it's a little more beefy they switched from a high sun engine to a tau tau 196 cc engine and it's a non-hemi and one of the things that makes this different from the other b200s i've seen is it's got uh, single piston front hydraulic brakes you get a nice headlight on the front it's got 20 led bulbs in it um, i haven't run it at night yet but it seems like it's gonna be pretty bright and unlike the knobbies that came on everything before it, this round you're getting V-tread tires front and back. The tires are gonna be a 19 by seven on an eight inch rim front and back. And on this side of the bike, we can see that it has uh, hydraulic brakes on the back, the dual piston caliper. And this model runs a torque converter on it with a jack shack setup, moving that chain to the other side of the bike. On the back of the bike, there's nothing really. It does have a reflector right above that rear fender, and that's really about it. Now that we've been around the bike, let's take a closer look. All right, so here's the right side. Your main drive chain is on this side, and your front brake is on this side. The fenders are plastic, but they look really nice on there. You have this chain guard right here. It runs all the way back to here, and it's so close to that tire that it actually rubs it. The kids have been riding this bike a little bit that back tire a little bit. Now where I buy these bikes, they come pre-assembled. I don't get them in a crate that I have to put together. They put them together and sell them assembled. So all we did was just check bolts, make sure they were tight. And this is where they put that on. So I don't know if it can be adjusted or not. You can see where that's rubbing around that tire. You have a sticker back here. It's telling you the engine manufacturer. Tau Tau. And to get the chain on this side, it is running a torque converter with the jack shaft behind it, bringing that chain to the other side. This is a non hemi engine. And they finally got rid of those awful aluminum foot pegs that always broke under you at a, the worst possible moment. Here's our handlebar setup. We got rear brakes on the left kill switch on the left front brake on the right and your throttle it does have a throttle adjustment screw right on the throttle I do think that the kill switch is on the wrong side so it'll probably get moved over to the right and on the back here here's that reflector I was talking about and there's your dual piston rear caliper no suspension on the back nothing really to say about the back side of the engine here uh, torque converter it's a nice looking cover on there i'm excited about having those good foot pegs they do have the wiring tucked away nicely in between these two plastics it's got a nice big beefy head tube on there i don't know what kind of bearings it's running but definitely a big beefy upgrade over the previous models plastic front fender I do like the design of the fenders, they look nice on there. Here's the brand of the tire, I'm not going to try to say that. You go ahead and try to say it. Your regular steel rims on there. There's your headlight. I like the, the grill they put over it and the little 
visor. I think that looks really cool. One thing that I'm actually pretty curious about is what the shaft size is on here. So let's pull this torque converter cover off. That belt is pretty tight on there, but it it works. That cover is held on by a couple brackets, and then it bolts down to that motor plate bottom there. And I guess to look at that shaft, we gotta take that driver off. That's gonna take a 13 millimeter. normal driver this is the belt they gave us it's a bando vs belt 673 well I take that back it's not a normal driver it's actually running bearings on there instead of that little bracket bushing it's got bearings that's nice just want to know the diameter of that shaft and that's nice that's going to be three quarter inch shaft on that engine it's going to make life a lot easier if you were to upgrade this engine we're not going to but if you were going to it just makes life a little easier for clutches and stuff we get this back together have the boys give you some riding footage have Charles give us a top speed so let me throw this back together and get them on that That's going to do it for this episode of Nick's Mini Bikes. This bike is going to be Katie's race bike for the Go Power Sports 180 in November. So we got some work to do. She wants to get rid of that red and paint it a different color. Um, I like the red, but she wants a different color. It's her race bike. So we'll paint it what she wants. And we're going to put a nice engine on there so she can be competitive this year. We kind of got duped in the junior race last year. If you got any questions about this bike, shoot them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button so you can see the video when we tear this down and get her painted and put back together. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.